of what's going on into the tropics because we had Helene move on through still a tropical storm, but it's going to become a non tropical system as it heads over towards Kentucky. Two other areas into the Atlantic. Neither of these are going to be impacting our area. We have Isaac and Joyce. Uh, again, none of those are going to be impacting our region, but you can track them on the WTOC First Alert weather app. Helene, though, this is a look at the rainfall totals going back over the last 48 hours, and we had a lot of heavy rain here from Helene and a frontal boundary a day or two before for North Georgia and the upstate of South Carolina. So we're looking at some of those estimated rainfall totals there exceeding 10 inches, especially up in the parts of South Carolina. So all that water has to go somewhere, and it's going to be going in the rivers and the streams and the creeks. So we're going to see some of these rising, especially over on the Hoopy River at Reedsville. You see a flood stage is at 11 feet. Right now it's only at 4.28, but expect to get up to almost 20 feet. 20 feet would be major flooding, so it's just below that. So keep your eyes on some of those rivers as we head on through the weekend and into the next week. We actually have a much more improving day in the forecast for today. There's a look from our generator supercenter sky cam showing clearing skies is 85 degrees. Still a little breezy out there, but those winds will be decreasing southwest right now at 24. We're getting a little bit of some higher gusts, maybe 25 to 30 uh, for some of the area. But as you can see, we're going to see a good deal of some sunshine temperatures warming up into the mid 80s. No more rain that is done for today, so it's dry on our fair and fair first alert live radar. And there's a look at our satellite radar and temperatures. And it looks like we're not getting a lot of data coming in here, but we are seeing some mid to upper 80s there along the coast. There's Helene. There's the circulation wrapping around mostly now in the Tennessee, Kentucky and the Ohio Valley storming up into North Carolina. And we're going to see a lot of sunshine if you have plans out there for the weekend and a lot less wind out there as well. There's your hour by hour keeping it drier. Notice the winds decreasing as we head on through the evening hours. So we're going to see improving conditions. That first alert seven day forecast is actually going to see a lot of dry weather right into next week with temperatures generally into the upper 80s.